playing back a little bit more reservedly, especially in this kind of matchup that Bayonetta can mostly be like associated with. But starting off on PS2, um, and you just see him right off the bat, he is the aggressor in the match, going in with the really, really aggressive this is our, side beat. This is our third game on PS2, by the way. <sighs> Second set. We, we live in New York City, guys. New York, um, let's go. <laughs> Um, Redline with the up B out of shield, already putting Twisted at 49%. <laughs> anyway, yeah, man. yeah, Redline, he's just, I mean, he's aggressive on anyone he plays. It's all a matter of uh, him keeping his composure. Yeah, I read that. He has to have big, big enough blast zones to keep Bayo alive. But on a small stage like Smashville, that definitely would have been it. And I'm noticing right now, or Twisted. Even town and city. Mm -hmm. I'm noticing that Twisted is catching a lot of shield drops from Redline, actually, when he's jumping into Redline really, really aggressively. Oh, um, spot dodge. With a back air or a spot dodge or just a shield drop in general. Well, a drop shield, rather, excuse me. Okay. Um, so wow. I wanted to talk about the, the defensive uh, neutral B he threw out off stage, which was kind of wild because he <laughs> just didn't throw. Um, I guess that might have been a mix up he was going for. But uh, Twisted kind of sealing out that stock kind of early. With not too early. Air. Not too early, but it didn't seem like he had momentum. Mm -hmm. But he still took it. It seems like they're going kind of blow through blow the, the entire game so far. And then right. Twisted just happens to land a you know, like really high knockback hit. But regardless, he's racking up the damage on red line. Point again, already at 46%. That one's definitely yeah. going to take mm -hmm. it. 46%, not really anything to sneeze at, but also not a big deal either. Uh, 75, though. <laughs> Different story. I like Twisted doing a great job of keeping Redline just like in disadvantage, but right now he's getting something so the fantastic pay for Redline, but still unable to follow up on it. The falling up air effectively uh, putting Redline. I tried to seal the stock out again with the dare. I don't even think at like 80 good uh, something it would have been. <laughs> it surely wouldn't have been the stock. I mean, it's deceptively powerful. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Oh, fair off plat. That's one of the reasons I don't like taking Roy to PS2. Is that every there are like three sections of the stage he could just fall off and bury you or nair. He has so He's much feeling. aerial mobility that's yes. just like so difficult to contest him even on the edges of the stage like that. Catch He'll just guard. run off later. He has oh. plenty oh, of juice to get that, that sweet done. spot. That's really good. Advantage state, but no, we got it anyway with and an S match instead. Redline is catching these aggressive getups from Twisted because like all set, Ooh, you see that? Here? Oh, Again. you didn't get it. You didn't react fast enough. Back air is definitely going to take it. Um, I want to say, we saw uh, a second ago, uh, Redline tried to go off stage and fair him, and, you know, push into Bayo, but I mean, like we said before the set, kind of difficult to do with yep. Bayo's side Bs and her up Bs, especially off stage. Not an easy character to edge up. And I think right now with that down through the red line was actually trying to read an air dodge from He's Twisted, getting... but Twisted was so patient and disadvantaged, yeah. just making sure to drift off stage and not even, not even like risk getting. Oh, what's he saying? Further jump. Oh, he didn't waste his jump. Smart. Uh, I think he read the roll too. It's gonna be really big damage putting red line in a oh, nasty no, position, he have and his that jump. is gonna be. <gasps> yeah. Oh, no tech. He wasn't ready. That was beautifully played from Twisted. I think actually. Yeah, he, he responded uh, to that aggression in time. He was eating. It didn't shut him up. It didn't make him play nervous. He kind of just yep. said, "Oh, you're you're gonna come to me? Okay, we're gonna fight." Yep. Um, I think Redline was doing a great job of calling out Twisted actually on his aggressive get up options because every time I see him get off stage, I see him going in with oh, those. Oh, the jacket's coming off. Uh oh. Uh oh, guys. Uh oh, <laughs> But uh, you did see him come in with like a lot of side bees, yep. and Redline was getting those parries consistently. But I don't think he his... wasn't getting those punches. He wasn't getting those punches. I feel like he has to work a little bit on his positioning where he is relative to the edge of the stage. And that's so important to a character like Roy. Yep. Where like positioning determines if a character dies at yep. uh, 50 or survives at 120. Yeah. And going right back to PS2, both of these uh, players seem to really, really favor the stage. And now you see complete change in momentum. Twisted is not the aggressive here. Both of them are playing back really, really patiently. But Twisted was the one to give up stage control first. Yep. He, he retreated. He just uh, went in with the neutral B. Or, uh, I, I feel even if you want to play passively, this is something I learned very recently, but if you, even if you want to play passively, you don't want to give up stage control like that. Right? When you're giving up stage control, that means you're voluntarily setting up something or you have like something to actually run away from. And right. at 0%, there is no pressure. And that's I'd be almost cleaning up Twisted stock, but not quite yet at 100%. On the dot. Oh, are finally, we going to see a combo, though? Falling up air. Kind of like... A spicy move from Bayo. I've seen some crazy stuff with yep. falling up air, but Can nothing from so there. Oh, much. Oh, got some lag for that side B, though. Oh, he has, he's so careful just hitting the red line shield because earlier in the set, like we saw, 
Yep. Yeah, it's such a good ledge option. There's so little that you can do about it, especially if your character oh, doesn't don't have any uh, like crazy disjoints to abuse. Yeah. Actually, poking his shield. I'm surprised. Um, Redline is still pushing uh, into Twisted right now. Redline definitely has the opportunity to play back, but he's been getting some percentage off of it. But now, right now, not yet. Who's had? Ooh, Ooh really dancing. good patience. Not dancing blade. I don't know. What, <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Side special. And Twisted, he's so hungry to take the stock with the up smash. You see him going through it a second time, and this time actually getting punished for it, oh. but not not all that much. Oh, down throw. Didn't opt for stage control. One of the mix-up. Oh. Almost dying for it. Oh, great oh. roll! I'm surprised we didn't see the F smash. Uh, Probably thought he didn't. It wouldn't kill. Maybe it wouldn't have. Really good. F toe pushing oh, off twisted, and he's unable he's to get the to edge guard. He's consistently trying to edge guard bam. Mm -hmm. Lost stage control for it, and lost his stock. And that's like one of the things that was kind of the main from Smash for the Bayonetta. I feel like it's so difficult that's to true. challenge a character like that unless. Yeah, I mean, if you gave any character two up specials. Yeah. They're immediately harder. Like, and, even if Little Mac had it. Mm -hmm. And you have some of the most exploitable linear recovery in the game, like Roy. Even though he has phenomenal aerial drift, his up B angle can be really, really predictable sometimes. Um, oh, whoa. The, what? I think that was a oh. little bit of suboptimal DI coming from Twisted. I definitely saw him going in on that when you should have been DIing out. But regardless, Redline sitting. You beat the taunt, though? Spewing him, huh? You beat the taunt? I did not. Oh, you missed taunted? It. it was the cool one, too, the down one. Uh, I mean, both wow, of these places. This has not been touched this stock. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's what you would say. And right now, like, Redline's doing a fantastic job of, like, pressuring Twisted Shield and making him antsy to jump out with something. I feel like Twisted could, like, oh. maybe respect him on Shield a little bit more. And now he just seems. I was, I was gonna say, I feel a smash attack coming. Yep. When you get to oh the taunt right back, yo, <laughs> they're at it. And now Twisted has brought it back to not, I don't want to say even, but he's yeah, it's anyone's game at this <laughs> point. Eighty uh, percent. But Redline can sit on the lead, especially being a low percent combo character. Like all you need is like one oh, good hit, but and you'll be able to rack up all the percent you need. But right now Twisted, he's been is fighting these parries though, and the punishes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Beautiful tech yeah. Great. yeah, great setup. He's just looking for mm -hmm. the down tilt. Because even if he down tilts the shield, yeah. it's relatively oh, safe if he spaces it. Not it's not an option. And I'm curious, <laughs> if he were to tech out, was there any could Redline have actually gotten to there in on time to punish him? Or does Bayonetta have by the speed, that fast of a tech roll? By this so her rolls are good. Yeah. And therefore her tech rolls are good. Uh, so I I'm I'm sure I'm I don't doubt what? Roy could have punished the tech roll away, but he's definitely reading the tech in place. Yep. So Twisted's definitely going to have to mix that up just a little bit. And for this game, they're opting to go for Unova. I feel like it's because Twisted really, really wants those horizontal blast zones. I believe it's a little bit smaller on the stage. I didn't know that. Ooh. Oh, well, yeah, um, like PS2 is like huge. Yep. Beautiful conversions from Redline. Redline is just like keeping Twisted off, making sure that he's not touching his shield for three. Oh, oh, but we got him in the air. Oh, get off me with the sweet spot, too. But again, oh, great Twisted awareness. is coming got... back with the same options. Redline has to figure out a way to adapt to that because. Oh, there does a snap ledge. Oh, that's scary. Beautiful save on the jump there. Oh, I could have sworn he read that. Yeah. And he did too, but again, it's like, it doesn't matter if you don't get the lead if you can't follow up on it, right? Yo, that was off of his sour spot! What is happening? Yo, Roy got some combos. Roy got some combos. Redline got some combos. That was really, really sick. I um, think that was jab into uh, sour spot there. Something like that. And, uh, I think Twisted could definitely get up attack there, but right now, he's just jumping. Oh, Redline he's got lag, bit. though. <gasps> oh, what are we doing? The Mixies! Oh, that wouldn't be true on Bayo, right? Maybe that's why we saw him not go for it earlier. Oh, grabbing him, him off stage. I th we're, ta a ta we're taunting, but we're not taking stops. <laughs> I feel like I think Bayonetta is a character that can really bully Roy off stage. I'm surprised to see Twisted not capitalizing I'm, on that point. I'm surprised these up B's out of shield after the ABK are actually working. Like, the range on that up B is ridiculous. Ooh, in the back A. Just more than enough to take out the stock, but right now, yeah, Twisted... Yeah, he keeps getting red line with that mix-up. Twisted's getting back so aggressively. Red line gave up the ledge. 
um, when he was not I, at his best condition. I like it though. I like it though. Because you because know, now uh, Twisted has to come in. Yep. And that's wow. what happens if you touch my shield aggressively, and I'm not aggressive for playing aggro. You're gonna get hit. Ooh. Yeah. No. It was. It was. Fun. This is tough. Like. Oh, Redline dropped his shield a little bit too early, not accounting for all of the multi hits. Just Man going in on it. Oh, he's chasing him now. Oh! oh! <laughs> he's feeling himself! Yep. Great roll into F tilt. Wait, don't go off stage. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, he you don't want to give up your stock at 46. Oh! My that was God. Just perfect! That was a phenomenal lead. He was like, yeah. like Jim uh, Twisted. He was, uh, he was getting a little bit too antsy with like taking out those dogs. Yeah, he, need, he, he knew dude. Twisted needed something. Yeah, because like, why would Twisted? That was, so, that was so smart. Why would Twisted risk it with a passive option if he could just get back to stage free flee? So he had, he, he was a stock up. He had nothing to lose by feeling out counted like that. He had a stock so, to lose, but even then, that wasn't a big deal. He was a stock to lose, and what, what, what he sell his job and a stock to gain. Mm -hmm. And to gain, he certainly. I'm going to uh, be off soon. T t t he certainly did. Um...